Hey folks, today's video is, I'm going to call it Battle of the Hundred Dollar Guitars, Acoustic Guitars. Got to specify, because um, I have people that like the acoustic guitar videos and some that like the electric and some that like both. So this is an acoustic guitar video. So I've got four roughly a hundred dollar guitars that you can buy. Um, and I'll start with this one here. You've seen this one before. Although they do this one with a couple of different pick guard styles. And this is a sawtooth. And let me get the uh, model numbers up here. This is a sawtooth STAND. Or ADN. STADN. Sawtooth STADN. Spruce and mahogany dreadnought guitar. Now, the knock on this one no gig bag. Sawtooth sort it out get a gig bag the other three all have gig bags there's no excuse anymore um, the good thing about this one spruce although it is ply and it is not basswood it's spruce and mahogany guitar um, some people don't like the rather snubby sawtooth headstocks um, they think they design it for the break angle or the, the string angle through the nut and some people do or don't like the bear claw inlays. Other than that, it's a fairly typical spruce top dreadnought with an all gloss finish. Now, I've had these before and had a lot of setup issues, stopped buying them for a while, but I have noticed in the last year or so a marked improvement in Sawtooth's guitars. I don't know if it's got anything to do with Michael Angelo Abadio getting involved, but since he's been helping design their guitars, I just seem to see a sense, uh, an uptick in quality. I didn't know if it extended to, to these entry level acoustics, and it may just be luck or coincidence, but I got this guitar and it needed very little setup work. I didn't have the issues that I had in the past with these guitars. And I you know, just to clarify, I can set up most guitars unless there's neck warpage issues, and that's when it gets um, difficult. This one, nice straight neck, decent action. All I have to do is uh, clean up a few burrs on the fret ends. Plays well. Nice guitar. So you can get this for $100 and $120, somewhere around there, and I think it's worth it. At least if you get one like this. Um, yeah, nice gloss finish, nice good woods, cream binding all the way throughout, rosewood fretboard, good deal. Let's move on to our second example. Now our second example, we've had guitars and ukuleles from them before, immediately gets ahead of the sawtooth for including what is a really nice padded gig bag with a ton of accessories. So that's um, already one ahead of Sawtooth. Now this is the only concert model, and it is kind of a mini jumbo. It's got a wide bottom end, uh, made by k -Mize. And this is an all Sapelli mahogany guitar. And this is the k KG2 Concert. The first thing I noticed right away is that it is very light. So it's well graduated. And um, what do I mean by graduated? Well, it's a word that comes from the violin, my violin background, and it's the thickness of the top. It's not overbuilt. Uh, there's a nice thinness, so it's not too heavy and it's not dull sounding. It's actually got a nice bright sound. With some bottom end too, because of the slightly wider than normal concert. This one needed some fret end stuff, but other than that, clean setup. I like the pewter color keys on this. It's not your typical chrome, it's like a pewter color. Black faced headstock. And nice sort of reddish mahogany or sapelli mahogany finish. 
what looks to be either a sandalwood or um, maybe I can find out really quickly because I wrote descriptions on these. Um, what is the fretboard wood on this? He asks. This is um, Purple Heart. Uh, I think the next two are Purple Heart um, fretboards and bridge. Um, which I think is a species of a type of mahogany. It's got this sort of open pour matte finish. This is actually quite nice to play. It's got a nice low action. You can get some nice vibrato on this. Yeah, this one's quite nice. Come, coming with that gig bag, I have to say, um, puts it pretty high up on the rating. If you can get that for 100 and 120, I think that's a good deal too, although you might have to do a better setup. Now this one is probably the worst setup uh, one that I received, but I've had these before that were okay. So um, I think it's just luck of the draw with some of these smaller companies with hardly any QC. And I think this, these are made by the same people that make the K-Mize. This is Aklot. And because the gig bags they use are very similar, as you can see here, if I can get it in, in, the, uh, in the movie, there's the Aklot gig bag, almost the same as the K-Mize one. And the model numbers are similar. The K-Mize was a KG2. This is an, let's see, this is a Aklot AKAG2. So very similar. So I think these are made by the same folks. Now this is a spruce top dreadnought, but ply cutaway. Very simplistic. There's the purple heart fretboard again. Black face headstock. It's almost the same. Um, you can tell it's made in the same place as that k I just showed you. Same pewter keys as well. So there's definitely a relationship between Aklot and k um, Or at least they're made in the same by the same factories. And this, yeah, this is quite nice too. It has sort of a really nicely rolled edges on the side. Uh, Sapele mahogany with that same open pore satin finish, all black binding. I felt like kind of like that as well. Um, the problem I have with this guitar is the action was way too low. So I had to actually shim, put a wood shim on this nut raise it up a little bit and correct the truss rod as well as do some fret end maintenance so it was a lot more work than probably the other three guitars and possibly a return for some people because you get it out and the strings are flat against the fretboard and it buzzes and doesn't play uh, most people are going to just put it back in the box and send it back so but it just needed it too much was taken off the uh, saddle and when you know, the top rises and falls with temperature or atmosphere changes. It sat the strings too low, so I have to raise them again. That's why a lot of times when you get guitars and the action's slightly high, because most companies err on the side of caution and set their action slightly high just in case the, the belly drops in transit or while it's in storage or at somebody's shop. Um, so that explains that. So that is an Aklot A. KAG2 again $100 you can get those on eBay you can get them on Amazon and this is the last one and a couple of these I will do separate videos for now we're familiar with these this brand because we've done a lot with them this is Idlewild you can't see that but it's Idlewild and it's the mono price uh, guitar brand and this is their brand new solid top dreadnought that they just put out and it's an entry level price of 99 bucks free shipping from mono price um, but it's not a hundred dollar guitar it's I think the normal price is somewhere around 150 so it's gonna be slightly higher price than these other three uh, and the difference between them even though it looks very very similar solid top so this is the only one of the three with the solid top and I do believe I want to think that's bone nut and saddle might not be uh, white binding black purfled edges again that satin finish this time rosewood fretboard and bridge very normal dreadnought specs on this nothing fancy at all um, 
And this one comes with the cake bag that you often see with Monoprice products, the black Quadora padded gig bag, and again with some accessories as well. Um, so this is a really good deal, and I think that this introductory price will go away at some point, and these will be more. These will be more like 149 159 or something. Now what I had to do to this was uh, just fret and stuff. No issues with the action at all. It came quite nice. So yeah, it's nice to see um, Idlewild or Monoprice um, expanding a little bit, uh, creating a budget level guitar with a solid top and pricing it at this price. Um, as I said, go, I think it's on eBay and it's on, on um, what's the, uh, Monoprice right now, and it's an entry level price. The, the uh, Dreadnought, uh, plain Dreadnought is $99 and, and the one with the electronics is $149. And probably in a few months they'll go up to a regular price. So if you want a solid top guitar for $100, $100 um, go grab one. You know, you can always put up strings and parts on it. It's very plain though. It's not highly decorative. I think that's the Palais. I'm not sure. It doesn't say anywhere on their website what that back, what that back and side wood is. It might be basswood as well. But the top is solid. That's the only real um, spec they give you. They keep the, the backwood secret. I can tell that the fret board wood is rosewood and they do list the neck as being a kume which is an African mahogany so there you go four guitars and this is the um, Idlewild SG141 so the new SG series I don't know why they call it that because that brings to mind an electric guitar model but um, um, they have two, they have the regular, and then they have the uh, electric one, and they're on sale at the moment, and they are solid top guitars. If you like that satin finish, there you go. So there you go, you have four guitars. I would say that they're all worth the money if you're willing to do the setup. Um, the Aklot and the k and the Idlewild come with really nice paddy gig bags which uh, really makes gives them good value. Plus they come with uh, an accessory pack if you appreciate picks, straps, um, capos, things like that. This one here, the Idlewild, is the only one that has a solid top, so that puts it ahead of the other ones. And the k of course, is a concert model, although they do make that in a Dreadnought as well, and I've had those before. Uh, and lastly, the only gloss one is the um, sawtooth. So if you like gloss and, and you're okay with laminate woods, um, that's a good um, model to get. So there you go, four guitars that you can get for $100 with a little bit of setup, put, you be put better strings on them. Uh, upgrade the, the nut and saddle if they're not bone to bone or graph tech uh, if you like. Uh, and these will make good guitars. None of them have seem to have tuning issues and after set up they're all playing pretty well Sound fairly decent um, Yeah, so we're living in the golden age of budget guitars and the point is proven again this time for uh, acoustics All right folks. See you on the next one